Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Volley Fire. Let's play quickly. When we last left off, we were destroying the boss rush of generic spaceships with laser guns. Because the game gives me no reason why we're doing this. We just are. That's the end of one of his guns. You really think he'd disengage after I've completely obliterated two of his guns? Nope. He's still keen to get me. And he's gone. Now that this boss is the annoying one, time to hold the left button. Don't get too close to them. He's nearly destroyed. He is gone. One down. Always good. Well, do something cheap, like fire a missile where I can't avoid it. <laughs> it's a usual stick. Come on! I'm waiting for you to actually be in a place where I can fire at you. Nice place for him. And that's an equally amazing place for one. So I'm basically just standing here waiting for the monsters to actually come in range. I'm calling them monsters. It's obviously a weird sort of turret thing. There's nothing monstrous about it at all. Oh, now there's only one. But he's an elusive finger and I've not yet actually hit him. Fortunately, he can't fire his missiles from the back row. But he can fire them from there. be there, and then by the time I'm over there, I won't actually, he won't actually be there, so I can't hit him. Because now there's a piece of train in the way, and then he runs around the back going, hee hee hee, I'm a boss! Like he would. It's these ones that I don't like. No way for me to have avoided that, safely. Another one? It's not even got any animation. Come on! There we go. Give me a chance to hit you. You have to stand still when that's being fired. No, he doesn't. Come on, a few more hits. One more hit! Give me that shot. One clean shot. There we go. Now the rest of the bosses are cakewalk. Especially this one. Come on. Fought you before. more shot for the right gun, and there's history. There we go! And then, this boss! Bet you haven't guessed what the final boss is yet! That was very sneaky. Commiserate, commiserations to the pilot of that ship that got poked by a space rock. But that was actually quite clever. That one is. No. One of them has no health left. Figure out which one of these that is. Is it this one? Nope, they all nearly have no health. 
That one is gone. That one is gone. Now for one more. And he is gone. Oh, this boss. Let's stand here and win this boss, shall we? That's one down. That's two down. Where do we find all these flying space rocks? No idea. Come on! Stop hanging around over there. I've got credits to go through yet. Is this the final boss? It is! And it is! These guys again! Yep, that's the final boss! These guys again, with those lasers. Apparently this is meant to be epic. I will give you a hint, game. It's not. You were expecting something original? From the game that's recycled everything, the whole game? Afraid not. Ow! These guys are actually hitting me. Will I tell you that the most dangerous thing in this level is not the boss, but those little companion ships that fly around? They are the most dangerous thing on this map? down. You also got to watch out for the thing poking space rock at the bottom. See, those ships will inter seem to sometimes interpose themselves between the lasers. The lasers connected to what, I don't know. But they're lasers, and they're connected to something. Here we done. Go on. Also, the ending! Congratulations! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the ending. A guy standing, obviously much closer to the camera than he is to his ship. Otherwise, how the heck did he fit into that tiny spaceship? And congratulations! With two exclamation marks. That's it. That was Let's Play Quickly Volifier. And now, the slowest credits in the world. Game design. Is this guy a Bigfoot or something? Or Godzilla? Look at how huge he is in comparison to that city. I feel like destroying it. I think it's called Tokyo. Music composer. Why did these um, bits of text scroll so slowly at some points? Moria Mori. It's a okayish game. It kills time, but it's nothing special, Volleyfire. So why did I show you it? Because I felt like showing you it. Also, the ending spectacular. You read the end of Lord of the Rings, and then you watch this ending, and you think Volleyfire did it right. She just had Frodo standing next to an eagle, and it's saying congratulations. Would have been the best ending ever. Hero. YM9014. Because robots were used to make this game. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, you weren't talking to me. Yazawa Produced Producer Who were the producers? Why Kida Okay Why Osono Presented by Who else would present this? But the one and the only. Toy Animation. Yes, Toy Animation presented this game. And now.
now, you can't quit this screen without turning the game off. Leaving you with a feeling of triumphant success as you defeated somebody to free somebody else, I imagine. Unless this was just a pilot's drunken joyride through space, destroying everything in his path. I quite like that story, actually. So, this has been Let's Quickly Play Volleyfire. I'm Gugowski, and until then, until then. <laughs>